given a square with area 0.5 centimetres squared. So that means these lengths are x, both x, and we can write down that x squared is equal to 0.5. So x will be the square root of 0.5. And they were only um, working out to the nearest millimetre. So think about what numbers multiply together to give something that's close to 0 0.5. And in fact, 7 is 7 times 7 is 49. So 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 is 0 0.49. We, you know, one way of doing this is to say, right, this is roughly 7 times 7, but I'm going to need to divide by 10 and divide by 10 again. So divide by 100, and then you can see we get the answer 49 divided by 100. So overall, the answer is going to be 0 0.7 centimetre. Uh, sorry, um, centimetres. Oh wait, so correct the nearest millimetre is going to be seven millimetres. Yeah, it's never. You know, you can see it's very close to seven millimetres. It's not going to go be six or eight. An alternative way to do this question is to use the fact that, okay, 0 point, um, so wait one sec, one centimetre is 10 millimetres. One centimetre squared is then 10 squared millimetres squared, because you have to times by 10 in two different dimensions. So for example, here's one and one, this gives one centimetre squared. And you can see if I change it to 10 millimeters here, I have to change this one to 10 millimeters here. That is evidence that we get 100 millimeters squared. So basically, what I'm saying is we have to times by 100 to go from centimeter squared to millimeter squared, which gets us to 50 millimeters squared. And then it's probably easier to see from here that's going to be 7 millimeters squared. I, I didn't go through it, it that way originally because it required this knowledge, but it, it, hey, it is worth you know worth understanding both of these methods. So overall, seven millimeters, nice.